Hi everyone, today we will discuss about cross joins. Cross joins occur when we don't specify a join condition between two tables. Before writing the SQL query, let's understand clearly how this cross joins works. So here we have employee and the department table. In the employee table we have three records and in the department table we have two records. If we do the cross join, it will be the Cartesian product that is 3 into 2 we will get 6 records. In cross join, all the columns from the two tables are returned in the result set. Each record in the first table is repeated by n number of rows in the second table. The first record in the first table matches with the first record in the first table and then the first record in the first table matches with the second record in the second table. Similarly, the second record in the first table matches with the first record in the second table and the second record matches with the second record in the second table. Similarly, the third record in the first table matches with the first record in the second table and third record matches with the second record in the second table. You might be wondering, uh, there is no relationship between these two tables and there are no matching IDs. It's because we do not specify any join condition in the cross joins and hence it results in a Cartesian product. Let's see how to write a SQL query. So let's start from table 1 comma table 2 performs a cross join. For example here select star from employee comma department. Let me select this query and execute. If you see all the columns from the two tables are returned. Let's see the count. How many records are returned? Select count of star and execute. So we have total 52 records. So if you see the number of records in the employee table, select count of star from employee. We have 13 records. Similarly, check for the another table department. Select count of star from department. So here we have four records in this table. As you know, the cross join gives the Cartesian product 13 into 4 is 52. So the total 52 records are returned when you perform the cross join between employee and department table. As I told you we have two ways to perform the cross join. Uh, another way is we can specifically mention cross join like select star from employee cross join department and execute the query. We see the all the columns are written from the two tables. Let me check the number of records. Count of star gives you the number of records. So select the query and execute. So we have the same number of records 52. Let's see some other examples. Select star from customers, comma, orders. So and execute this query. So we have around six records. Let's check the count. Count of star. Sorry, we need to select this query and execute. So we have the six records. So if you see the number of records in the customers table, select count of star from customers so execute we have three records in the customer table and select count of star from orders we have two records in this table so three into two six records we get six records when we do the cross join of customers and orders table. As I mentioned earlier, we don't write any 
join clause or where condition to find the matching records while performing the cross join. So if you write the where clause it will become the inner join. The two tables customers and orders are related on the customer ID column. So where customers dot customer underscore ID equal to orders dot customer ID. So this will return the matching records from the customers and orders table. So if I do the select star from this query, we will get the matching records from the two tables. Only one matching ID is present in the customers and orders table. So you can replace where condition with join clause customers join orders on customer ID orders dot customer ID. I hope now we were clear with the cross joins and how it is different from other join types and also we have covered how to write in a join using where class. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and let me know your feedback or any queries in the comment section.